Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Full Damage on the Minecraft Season 4 server. Today we're over here at the casino, and uh, we're just going to kind of work on the roulette machine, I think. Uh, get that sorted. Um, talk about some new things, I hope you guys are all enjoying the um, Magic World series that I've been running. Um, I know I have. Very much so. I've I've pre-recorded loads of it because I've been enjoying it so much. Uh, so I hope you guys are too. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, it's a feed the beast, feed the beast mod, um, based all around just kind of magical stuff. None of you like your build craft and whatever. Just magical stuff, which is really good. Um, so yeah, definitely go check that out if you haven't already. Um, I hope you are also enjoying. Um, hopefully, hopefully, um, the fact that I am now rendering in 1080p, um, it's not taking as long as I, as I thought it would. I tried that out on, um, some of the pre-recorded, uh, Magic World stuff, um, and it didn't take too long at all. Like, I thought it would take way longer than it did, and it didn't, so I'm gonna try it out in a 4 damage episode and see how long it takes for there. So hopefully, hopefully you guys can see this all in shiny 1080p, which is just wonderful if you can. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm just adding another one of these um, uh, item counting circuit thingies to the um, to the roulette machine here because I need another one because I only had. Uh, 17 I think I had, and I need 18, or something like that. I only had a, a certain number, and I need more than a certain number. Let's hop up here quickly. Okay, so we'll need... Ah, crap. Come here. Problem is, working with hoppers, is that items just go everywhere. Absolutely everywhere, absolutely all of the time. In fact, I needed one in there, didn't I? Whoops. There we go. That's better. Um, so let's do that. Kind of get around the other side here. It's very cramped in here at the moment. Um, I need to work on the outside as well because this leads to the outside here. So I need to do some kind of covering up there. Uh, let's do that one there. And let's place a torch back here. Uh, let's hop back up here and change this one around. Okay, and then we need to place one guy inside there. Okay. Uh, yep, you're going to go back and forth. That's fine. That was to be expected. Um, I th think I need a redstone torch. Yes, I need a redstone torch under here. Okay, and then I just need one comparator, one piece of redstone, and then another comparator? Yeah, another comparator going into that direction. Okay, let's grab those and put those in. Something which you will also notice uh, now in this series and in um, uh, the Magic World series after I believe episode 2 is that I've increased the size of the GUI for you guys. Um, I found it much more comfortable, especially looking in things like chest, it just seems way too big. Um, I found it a lot more comfortable to use the smaller one. Um, you guys you guys would like the big one, so I'm going to I can do that for you guys. I have some comparators here, I didn't need to make them. Um, I do, however, need another trapped chest, which I believe is like this, to make a... Uh, Tripwire hook? Oh, it might be a plank of wood actually. And a stick. There we go. Aha, there we go. Um, so let's make another trap chest quickly. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, like so. Like so. No? Oh, it has to be next to it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, put that away. Move that guy into the bar and place it over here. 
Excellent. So now we have a betting slot for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And odd, even, uh, red, black. Uh, I do need one for high and low as well, actually. So I need two more. Really? Damn it. Um, and the three um, thirds. Maybe I wasn't counting the other three thirds before, because I did have a, another two chests there. Okay, so I might need to make two more of those. Um, anyway, we need to make a whole bunch of... Um, or Well, we need to make 12 of the same things that we have over here. The uh, item sorting system. Uh, so we need to make 12 of those. That's how we're going to run the roulette machine. Uh, essentially, or 13, sorry. It's essentially going to pick at a random number between 0 and 12 and then display that uh, in some form. So, let's do that then. Um, if we grab... Okay, so we've got our 13 item sorters sorted out here. Um, which will, like I said, do something similar to what they did, or do exactly the same to what they did on the slot machine. Um, it's going to accept a random input between 0 and 13, or 0 and 12, um, and it will come all the way down here, blah 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 blah, and get sorted and trigger one of these, depending if it's 0 through 12. Um, so then these lines are going to be split up so we can determine um, which prize lines to run. So say odds and evens, highs and lows, reds and blues, etc., or reds and blacks, etc., etc. Um, it's also going to trigger whatever our display mechanism is, um, which I'm thinking here is just going to be a series of lights running back and forth um, in front of the chest here, or maybe up on the ceiling here, um, just kind of running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, kind of like spinning, kind of, I guess. Um, in which case, we may need to move this back some, um, or do something fancy with the wiring. We shall see. Um, but that's going to be what we do there. Um, the next thing to determine um, is how we're going to do all that, really. I have various ideas for it. Uh, we also need to work on our random mechanism, which I think we'll do next, actually. Okay, so the idea behind this part, uh, this is going to be our uh, randomizer, I suppose. Um, so we're going to have something that will randomly pick one of these two hoppers. These two hoppers are going to contain between them the numbers 0 to 13. So there's 18 slots in total, so you can easily fit 13 into 18 slots, because 13 is less than 18, obviously. Um, and then these two hoppers here are going to feed back into them. Now there's going to be a minecart which runs between them. Uh, so there's going to be a comparator which comes off of this hopper, like this, powers up here. It's going to power a booster rail here, and a booster rail on the other side, uh, which are going to loop down into this section. Um, and then it will take it past this hopper, and this hopper will dispense whatever's inside it into the minecart, which will deactivate the booster rails, um, and then the minecart will whiz up to the side opposite to what it was, and dispense the item in back into the hopper. Um, so the hoppers will get evenly distributed, or the items will get evenly distributed between the hoppers, um, so that's all well and good. And then we just need a simple randomizer, which will randomize between these two, which is nice and easy to do. Um, so this is all contained into one chunk as well, which is important. You can see here that this is a chunk zero. Uh, this is a start of a new chunk. None of these hoppers point out into the new chunk. Um, and then likewise over here, we don't reach the zero point of this chunk and none of the hoppers point out of it. Um, so that's important um, because if a hopper is pointing into a new chunk, it will keep that chunk loaded if the chunk of the hopper is loaded. It's not much of a problem if you're just keeping, say, this chunk to this chunk loaded. Um, but if you're keeping this chunk to this chunk loaded and this chunk to this chunk loaded, 
they're going to keep each other loaded uh, and they will never never unload unless the server resets um so that's that's the reasoning behind that it's just a uh, good practice to make sure that none of the hoppers keep each other loaded um so i just need to set up the rail system here and we'll set up the randomizer uh, and then we still need to work out how to do all the uh the prize lines as well which uh shouldn't be too hard to do maybe he says hopefully Okay, this should be working. Um, when there's an item in here, it should send a signal to this powder rail and the powder rail over there, um, which will send the minecart between the two. As it's only going to receive one item at a time, um, we will test it as such, because it's not going to work with multiple. Excellent. Now the item should be over in this hopper, or in this dropper. It is indeed. Excellent. And then, if we do say this... And now that item will be in this dropper. Fantastic, that's working perfectly. Uh, had to get a little bit of a fiddly because um, apparently the powered rails, they don't push off of a block if the block is a hopper. I'm assuming it has to be a solid block. Um, so that's why that's up like that. However, that had an adverse effect. Ah, okay. I see what that, why that's happening. Okay, what we can do, put a repeater there, that will stop that from being powered like that. Um, let's break that one too. Uh, now what's interesting though is that that should be dropping it whenever that gets one in it. So why isn't that happening anymore? Um, Remove that block. Okay, so when you get one in you, you should drop it. That did. Okay. It may have been getting powered from there, possibly. I'm not sure, but it is it's working now. Um let's put a block there and a block there. The powered rail were there or the rails were there just so I could slope those upwards, and that has been done. Um so now we need to delay this one just by one tick. It Probably doesn't matter, but I would like them running at the same tick, so we'll do that quickly. If I have enough stuff to make a uh, repeater, I should do. Bye. They're already left. Um, I need some more wood. I've been growing some of these so I can get some chests and such. I need a whole bunch more hoppers again. Damn hoppers are expensive. Uh, let's get some of these torches. Okay, and doop, doop, and doop, doop. Okay, just one of those. Like I said, probably unnecessary, but I would just like it to be at the same time. Uh, just for, oh, buy as well. Just so it's it's at the same time, really, for nothing else than, than, than that. Um, so it should all still work again. That'll get one into it. Excellent, and that'll be in there now. Okay, so now we just need to randomize which one of these gets chosen. Um, the way we're going to do that is just another simple randomizer, which I'm going to set up quickly off camera and then I'll show you guys how it is. Okay, so we have our randomizer sorted, um, and of course it's raining. Uh, but the way this works, this dropper here will either drop the dirt block or the wooden sword. It doesn't matter what these items are. As long as one item stacks to 64 and the other item doesn't stack. Uh, that will drop it into this uh, hopper, which will hop it straight back into the dropper. Uh, but the dropper will, or the hopper will take a comparator reading from here. Um, that will either, if it's the single stack, it will trigger this line. If it's the, uh, or if it's uh, this item which stacks to 64, it will trigger this line. If it's the item which doesn't stack, it will trigger both lines. But this line will lock this line before it gets a chance to power. Um, so either this hopper will power or the other hopper will power. Um, or they should do anyway. You know what, let us put a stone in both of those. Just in case I've gone, I've done wrong. 
and we're going to have to work out another way to power them. But it should, I think, power them. Maybe. We'll see. Um, so let's trigger it. Okay, so that triggered this side. Damn, it doesn't power it. But we know it triggers the side. Uh, and then the other side should trigger randomly as well. See, that triggered the other side, but it didn't, tr didn't trigger this side. Um, so we need to work out how to power these properly. Uh, we could raise this whole assembly up and then just power these blocks directly. I think that's what we'll do. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Um, so give me a second and I'll, I'll do that. Okay, it should be working now, so let's give it another try. Okay, so that should have powered this side. Uh, okay, you know what I need to do? Um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, let us... Do that, and then uh, I'm going to need to raise everything up again. Dang it, I was trying to be clever, it didn't work. Aha! I have been clever. Now this should work, should work, hopefully. Uh, let's give it a try. So that powered one of them, not that one. It powered that one, okay. Um, so let's see if the other one will power. Okay, that should have powered this side. Excellent, that worked. Lovely. Okay. Uh, so let's grab those from there. Um, now that dropper there, as soon as it got an item in it, it should have powered... Uh, itself essentially that seems to be hit and miss yeah it's not doing it now hmm why is that not working now okay so instead of messing around with that what I'm gonna do is just take another another connection which from whatever's gonna power this um, give it a slight delay and then trigger this one so this will trigger one of these and then whatever triggered that will then trigger this uh, instead of just messing around making it auto dispense because uh, I don't think that's going to work unfortunately um, but that's the plan for that so the next thing is just to work out all the prize lines um, which we should be able to do today hopefully uh, if not this might be the end of the episode um, but there is something else um, the Ottawa Senators again play the Montreal Canadiens tonight uh, same thing as last time, you know the drill. Go and tell Vintage Beef on his videos tonight uh, who is the best team. Um, hopefully we win. I think we won last time, didn't we? I think we beat them last time. Um, so hopefully we win again this time. Um, and, and Beef can just suck it. Suck it, Beef. Okay, let's go work on the uh, front of the castle now. I'd like to get... Oh, the front of the castle. The front of the casino now. I'd like to get a lot of that done uh, to make it look better from Spawn Town, uh, make it look more exciting and inviting. Um, we've got pretty much all of the roulette machine done. It's just a case of sorting out the wires now, uh, which will just take time. Um, so let's grab some materials here. Uh, let's dump off all of my electronics that we don't need now. Why have I got two things of obsidian? There we go. Okay, drop off that too. Uh, let's take the rest of that obsidian. Let's also take some of that. Um, do we have any... We have some light blue wool. Do we have any glass of any kind? Uh, we have some stain white. Stain blue, that's kind of what I was after. Stain light blue, that's exactly what I was after. Okay. Let's take this up to the front of the castle. We'll have a look at what we can do. I keep saying the castle now. I don't know why. It's a casino. It's not the castle. Um, so I've been kind of planning out the bedrooms up here on this floor. The rest of them. Um, so this is going to be one of the remaining bedrooms. Uh, you can come out here. This will be the, the corridor here. Uh, this will be the door to the bedroom. Uh, this will be the bathroom in here. Which we will light up. 
this will be the bedroom in here with a, a smaller bed than the other one, but uh, still a, a bed. Um, and then this will be like a seating area as well. Um, kind of like a, a fancy lounge suite room, I suppose. And then this room will be mirrored, um, quite simply. So it will be something along the lines of uh, this. And then this little section here is going to hopefully hide some kind of light, light switch system. Uh, if I can work out that, or how I want to do that. Um, then it comes over here. Boom, break that. Okay, um, so that comes out to there? No, to the other side. Okay. Do, do, do. The small room coming off the bathroom is going to be like a little, uh, just a little wardrobe where your clothes will be kept. You can you can put them on and such. You know, nice and simple. Um, and I've I've messed up completely here. <laughs> oh, that went completely wrong. Let's do that. Okay, there we go. That's better. Uh, oh, good jump. Good jump, good job, well done. Hup, there we go. Uh, do that, that, and then bring this wall over along this way. Does it meet up like that on the other side? Is that how it is? It is. Interesting, I could probably put something in that little cubby. Uh, okay. So I'm thinking on the next layer is where I want um, some words, uh, but this is only going to be, well this, the ceiling height of, of this area is only going to be uh, probably the same as this internal, uh, which is only one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Let's have a look, see how high that comes up to. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that doesn't give us a huge amount of room for lettering. Uh, how high are our letters on the other side? Probably quite big. Let's see. Uh, one, two... One, two, three. Crap, 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 crap. Let me in. Eh, eh. Made it. Uh, grab that on one. Nice. Boom. Boom. Slick. Nice and slick, that was. Nice and slick. So how high were our letters there? Oh, God, I'm falling in holes again. Damn, damn, damn. How high were our letters? One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. Hmm. So basically, as high as a wall. Uh, mm. Okay. So if we went up one. Yeah, this is marking the floor of the next layer. So if we wanted to go down from this floor, we would go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, so the letters would come down to here. Is that a problem? Can we fit that in? Can we do that? We might be able to do that. Or Indeed, we could put them onto the next floor and have them kind of as the windows of the room. That's an idea. Let's go up to the next floor. Let's try that idea out. Okay, so if we had them as the windows to the room, they would be that high. That's seven high there. Um, and we need an L, U, and a C, a K, and a Y. So the C would be the central letter, which again is not great. Um, 
and then the the ceiling would be up there which isn't terrible it's very tall but that's not necessarily a bad thing and we do have a lot of room in these rooms here more than what we had down there we don't have this corridor to mess around with and we don't have this little corridor to mess around with so we have more room inside the rooms we could do it we certainly could do it um let's shall we try it i think we'll try it i think we shall try it let's try it with um white as that's what i have most of we'll probably change it for blue anyway um let me have a look what the lettering looks like so i know the shape of say the c and such um it's also going to be in even number so i hope the letters are in even number don't think they are. One, two, three, four. No, they are. Yep, they're good. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Okay, let's try it. Let's see how it looks. Okay, I've put all of the letters on. Let's go see how it looks. It's probably not going to look as good as white glass as it would look with blue. Um, but it should give us an idea of at least the shape of it. Um, and if it's if it's ugly, then we don't need to bother about making a whole bunch of blue glass. Um, so the center's right about here. That doesn't look half bad. The extreme diagonals, like in the Y, is a little funny. We may shorten the Y. We may shorten the L as well, but it doesn't look half bad. It will look a lot better with blue, like I said, because you'll actually be able to see it properly. That doesn't look half bad at all. How does it look from, like, the centre of town? So that's, that's where I want it to be visible from, really. And we might move, like, we might uh, put a diamond up on one of the higher levels as well. Uh, you can't really see it from this angle, because everything's in the way. Let's see from like over here. I don't think it's going to look half bad. Like blue contrast against some quartz. Probably going to look quite good. And I could put a diamond like coming and sticking out the side there. Yeah. I mean you guys might not be able to see it that well. Um, I might have to zoom in in post or something. But you can kind of make out the letters there. I think it's going to look quite good. Um, I think we'll we'll stick with that idea. Um, but this is the end of the episode. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, uh, please leave a comment, a like, and all that good stuff. And yeah, I shall see you all in the next video.